Hey, my money making friends. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and I wanted to walk you through how to file your annual reports with Zen Business. And so a really great thing about forming your business with Zen Business is that they file your annual reports for you. Every state across the US has some sort of annual report filing requirement. And so if you don't know exactly the forms that you need to fill out for your business, Zen Business says, no problem, you don't have to worry about that you just need to answer a few questions on our portal and we'll fill out the paperwork for you and personally for me that has been a service that I have been and am currently willing to pay for so I'm gonna walk you through step by step the questions that they asked me and then I'll give you a preview of what the annual report looks like that they file on my business's behalf and so if you have any doubt of why annual reports are very important to file for your business check out the video linked above and so let's get into it right Right now I'm on my Zen Business dashboard. I clicked file my annual reports. And so this is the first screen it took me to. And the first question is, in which state do you need to file your annual report? And so you have two options here. Texas is a domestic filing option because I formed my LLC in Texas. If you click a different state of foreign filing, that means that you are operating your business in a different state than the state of formation. But in this case, I'm gonna click Texas and move on to the next question. The next step is to re review the information that I filed previously. And then it's gonna ask me to confirm my company name, my business purpose, my structure, as well as my managers. None of those have changed. And then it's gonna ask me to confirm the business owner or owners, as well as the addresses for my business. And so most recently I have personally moved, so I'm gonna update my personal address and then my business address has updated as well. And what's really helpful on Zen Business is that they have a question mark icon, which explains the different types of addresses that you'll have for your business. And so I'm gonna click edit and then enter in my new business address. And once I enter in that address, I'm gonna make sure to double check that it is included as my mailing address as well as my principal address. And then it's gonna ask me to confirm the authorized signatory, which is the person that can sign documents on my business's behalf. And so once everything looks good, I'm going to click next. Just to let you all know, annual report filings is a great time to include the changes that you have made for your business. And so I like to time any business changes close to my annual report filing date because I do not have to pay additional filing fees. Instead, I get to update all my paperwork at one time when I file the annual report filing. And then it's going to ask me, did my business make less than 1.13 million a year? And revenue yes it did and then it's going to ask me to enter in my web file ID number you can find your web file ID number from the letter that the Texas Comptroller sends you and what's great is that you can access all of your formation documents on your Zen business dashboard and so you'll enter that number right into here and then you'll click next and then it says what was generational wealth builders LLC's exact total revenue for 2022. Does Generational Wealth Builders LLC own 10% or more of any other business? No, I do not. Does any other business own 10% or more of Generational Wealth Builders LLC? No, it is 100% owned by me. Is the reporting entity of a combined group? No, it is not. Will your total revenue be adjusted for the tiered partnership election? No, it will not. Is this a passive entity as defined in chapter 171 of the Texas tax code? No, it is not. And then for the next question, it says, is this entity a real estate investment trust? or read that meets the qualifications specified in section 171. I'm gonna click no. And then it's gonna ask, is this entity a new veteran owned business as defined in Texas tax code section 171? No, it is not. And then it's gonna ask me to review and confirm all of the information that I just filled out. And then I'm gonna click the check mark. All of my information here looks correct. And then I'm gonna click next. It's free to file your annual report filing in Texas. And that's a really nice perk because similar size states like California, they charge $800 for annual report filing. And then I'm gonna click place my order. And now I'm on this screen that says my order is submitted. And so I've officially filed my annual reports for the year 2022. And so I'll just wait to hear back from Zen Business letting me know that my annual report paperwork has been correctly filed with the Texas Comptroller. And real quick, I'm gonna jump into my dashboard to show you what a complete and annual report filing looks like.
And so here's the home page. I'm gonna go to the side taskbar. I'm gonna click documents and then I'm gonna click business records. I'm going to scroll down and click my latest annual report filing. Then I'm gonna click view and it's going to show me what it looks like. And so in the corner, it says for annual tax, 2022 annual no tax due report. And at the top, it includes some information about my business as well as the contact person as in business that submitted this report on my business's behalf. And if I scroll down, some of the questions look familiar. It also gives a breakdown of how much I made in 2021. And that includes information like my mailing address, as well as my business address information. And then on page two, it includes the officers, directors, and managers of the business, as well as contact information for the registered agent. And so this is my annual no tax due report. Let me know if you have any questions in the description below. I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building.